fingerprint. How many of you in here have dated or are dating in high school? Well, we're all in high school, so probably a lot more hands than that. Well, I'm sure those who have their hands down, it's by choice. I'm sure you, all of you guys have many opportunities to go out there. I mean, you're all very handsome and pretty people. So 61% so of teens have stated that they dated in high school, according to a study done by www.stageoflife.com. Also in that study, uh, boys uh, tend to think more positively about love than girls. Dating in high school, <laughs> dating in high school helps you uh, mature and <clears throat> sorry. Dating in high school helps you mature and become more responsible as uh, as another way to grow up in high school. High school is all about a time when you learn who you are, and learning this big knowledge. High school prepares you for life, and dating in high school also helps you do that. So there are many. Uh, positive, beneficial things about dating in high school. Uh, the first thing, dating in high school teaches you responsibility. It teaches you uh, how to treat a uh, certain someone that you care about and how to spend your money and time. When you do start dating, you have to you know, go out on dates, that's kind of the point of it, and you get the flowers and the gifts, and all that costs money. And I'm not saying you need that stuff for a happy relationship, but of course you always you always like to shower your, your special someone in gifts and things like that. And so dating in high school helps you learn how to manage your money. It's very important now because you want to spend your money on dates and things, but you also want to spend money on yourself. So learning that, how to manage between spending your money for yourself, saving your money, and then spending it on dates is another way dating helps you out. Also, another thing you have to manage is time. You have your friends, your family, your school, some of you may play sports or have work, and now you have to throw in this other mix of dating. You have to find time to spend with this special someone. That's another way dating helps you become more responsible with your thing, things in life. <clears throat> another thing dating helps you with is your morals. It helps you under, you have to when you start dating. There's a whole new playing field you get into, and you gotta start thinking to yourself, what are my morals? What am I wanting then to do? I'm not getting into what are good and bad morals. That's a whole different conversation. But when you do start dating, you gotta start thinking about that. What am I comfortable with? And you have to respect those morals of yourself and of the other person. Also, another thing that is a moral is PDA. Some of you might not think it is because it's so little. Or uh, little compared to the other morals out there. But if someone else isn't comfortable with holding hands in the hallway or kissing in the hallway, that's completely understandable and that's another thing you have to respect. And another way dating helps you learn more about your morals. Now, when you date, you think it's all going to be fun and happy, but no matter how nice and perfect you guys are for each other, you guys are still going to fight. It's, it always happens. You're going to argue, disagree on things. And about that, you Dating helps you deal with that. It helps you learn your problem solving skills. You think you learned that in school with your little small group projects, but you don't really care what the other person thinks if they're mad at you because you did something wrong. But in a relationship, you will because you generally care for that person. And so, to help solving your problems in a relationship, you have to listen. It's, and a lot of times, people just want to solve the things, but most of the times, people just want to be heard. They aren't looking for you to solve the problem, they're just looking for you to be listened and for them to be heard. And that's a very important thing I think uh, dating in high school teaches you. And lastly, dating in high school teaches you about like heartbreak. Most likely you guys aren't going to get married. Sorry to break it to you. You guys are going to break up, but when that comes, it's going to teach you how to deal with it. It's better to deal with it now than in the future when it actually might matter. Right now, five years from now, it's probably not going to matter. And so yeah, dating's scary because of this breakup, but it's a good way to help deal with it. And breaking up during high school is a great time because you have the support of your family and friends to help get you through it. So, dating in high school helps you out in many ways. I know this through my own personal relationship. But 
when you're walking down the hall, I call you not to snitch out the couple holding hands or uh, to think more positively about people that are dating in high school. Sometimes it does have a bad rap. And so, and of course, like I said, dating can be scary. And a, a guy once said, Carter Bays, once said, if you're not scared, then you're not taking a chance. And if you're not taking a chance, then what the hell are you doing? And that's what high school's all about, learning about taking chances. And I feel like dating, taking that chance, helps you in a lot of positive ways.